I'm going to read out a post that someone sent uh, to me on Facebook, posted on my Facebook page, and it's really profound, uh, very deep. I, I was struck by it, as were many other people on my page, and I thought I would just read it out to everyone so they could benefit from it. And it really cuts to the heart of, A, what I believe is so wrong with um, the way Islam is taught, but um, also cuts to the heart of, you know, the argument of, what, you know, what's the purpose of Islam itself you know is it a ritualistic religion or is it there to benefit mankind I'll read it to you and you can you know um, um, share your thoughts with me so it starts like this it says I am a seeker of knowledge and I recently traveled to Mauritania to check it out as I've heard that they have great ulama I noticed a huge contradiction in that while they truly did have an amazing array of ulama and students of knowledge the status of Islam in that same country was appalling it's openly visible in the lifestyles of its citizens and the country at large. Something was amiss. People are accumulating knowledge for the sake of knowledge, instead of using it to transform people's lives. You will agree with me that mosques have lost their true meaning and have just become places of Salah and reciting Quran instead of placing for transforming society and the people that visit it. They are closed immediately after prayers and any knowledge given is for information purposes only. Muslims are praying and fasting frequently, but the rituals have no influence on their lives because they are made to believe the acts of performing rituals is just enough. Muslims have lost the plot and this is why they are being led by those who are disbelievers instead of us leading them. Actually, we are happy to be led by them, but just as long as they let us perform our rituals. We are losers in this world, and most probably in the hereafter too. Remember the question that the Prophet asked the Sahaba? Do you know what is a loser? And then he told them, it's someone who performs all the rituals required, but has a bad character. And because of that, all his ritualistic work becomes useless. We have become ritual zombies and it's time for us to wake up before it's too late. We don't need scholars, scholars sorry, to notice that. And that's written, that excellent post, an excellent analysis by brother, and I, I might be pronouncing his name wrong, so I apologise if I am, but Ideal Ahmed, you know, absolutely struck home to me when I read it. And, um, I, you know, I hope that, that you benefited it benefited from it as well. So thanks for listening.